Hi Cancer, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, quick note, these readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant sign. So whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising Sign Cancer, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they speak to you. So with that said, if you are a continued subby of mine, you know I love you for it. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button and check out some of my other videos as well. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So your key to the week this week is the death card, right? This is an end, a completion or a culmination. And this is a moment where you could really move forward providing you are willing to let go of what has no lo what has no longer got a space in your life and what no longer serves you this is a moment of pure honesty cancer you have to be honest and open with what has passed its sell by date is it you is it a thought you know not you obviously um, but is it a thought is it a, a feeling is it a mode of thought is it a belief is it a belief structure or system something in your life has reached the winter of its life and needs to be phased out now and remember when the death card shows up it basically says to you you can consciously choose to end this or you can go kind of kicking and screaming this is one of those moments where you need to be really clear on what is in your life and more importantly what value it really has for your actions and options this week you have the sun card right I find this really interesting because this is a this is like a rebirth, right? In some way, shape, or form, you are being reborn. I find this really interesting as well, especially when you look at the motif, right? So the reason I say this is this week we've got that powerful new moon that's taking place in the sign of Cancer. And obviously the moon is your heavenly or celestial body. And the moon, a new moon, is where the sun and the moon come together, right? And so whenever a planet comes uh, in conjunction with the sun, it's said to be reborn in some way, shape or form. So what are you ready to allow to perish or to come to a close? And then you've got the sun card here in your actions and options. This gives you light, heat, power and strength. And it also suggests that this new moon is going to be a really powerful one for you. Why? Because the moon is exalted in Taurus it's happy there it does some of its best work I know for me personally I'm gonna be milking this new moon in Taurus I have so many things planned for this one it's ridiculous like last year I was like hey you know I've got a few things going on this year I'm like I want to do this <laughs> like I'm literally milking this one so you should as well right in some way shape or form Sun Moon or Ascendant this is going to be an important moment for you uh, the fact that you have the Sun card in your actions and options what is it that you want? What is it? If you had a cosmic green light or if you had the ear of the universe, what would you ask for? For your communications and conversations, you have the four of wands. This is good news and celebrations on their way into you. For some of you, this is going to be in results to hard work and effort that you've put in. For those of you that are looking to or hoping to conceive, this is fantastic news for you. Uh, for those of you that are looking for new work or new jobs, this is great news for you. How However, it does look like some of you will be going in new directions when it comes to the work. So maybe the job you thought you wanted doesn't come through, but the job that you actually do thrive in and go on to do amazingly with can be the one that you actually get. Uh, for those of you that work for somebody else, well, look, the death card kind of suggests that maybe this is one of those weeks where somebody gets forced out and it opens up a position for you. Um, you know, try not to dwell on that, right? Life is, a, life is a, a series of sequences and patterns. And it means that if somebody else is being removed and this position opens up for you, it's ordained for you at this moment in time. At some point, you will likely leave that position and somebody else will take it, right? Life is a series of sequences and patterns uh, and wonderful motifs so take the good news when it comes for those of you that work for yourselves business owners entrepreneurs solopreneurs um what i really like about this it's kind of like 
uh, maybe a tip or a hint that comes to you that at first you're like, oh, I'm not doing that, what, what kind of rubbish is that? And then before you know it, it could absolutely take off. Pay attention to the little tidbits of information that you're given this week, especially if they have some sort of relation to your industry, to your work, to your business. For those of you that are retired or no longer working, the death card with the um, four of wands as well, and I have to say this for all Cancerians, um, when these two come up, it's usually more of a celebration of an end rather than, uh, you know, whether it's a death, whether it's a completion or a culmination of some sort. It's usually the celebration of that thing rather than the mourning of a loss, right? So this week, maybe you're paying off a debt. Maybe you're paying your last payment on a debt. Maybe you are uh, finalizing on buying a house. Like there's something is coming to an end, but that end is gonna bring you joy. For your money and materials, you have the six of pentacles. If you are applying for loans, if you are applying for credit, if you're applying for a mortgage, this is gonna be a great week for you because you have the absolute yes. For those of you that are working for yourselves, there could be some sort of secret benefactor that comes forward uh, to assist you. Now, what I will say is this as well. If you are hoping to um, get funding of some kind or you're hoping to get some sort of assistance or so apply for some sort of grant or loan of some kind, this could be a really great week for you. It could be as well that this week you want to do something charitable. Maybe you're wanting to offer something for, you know, for the blessings that you get. Maybe you're wanting to put a blessing out there in the world. The only thing that I would say to you with this, because you've got the death card there as well, um, this would be a week where whatever blessings come in, just be sure to put something aside. For your physical health and vitality, this is gonna be your uh, throat, your neck, your kind of all this general area, um, and also even your um, thyroid as well. So just look out for that this week if you have any kind of imbalances there. Maybe this week you get to the root of what the cause or the issue of a chronic situation might be. And then, um, and interestingly enough, it's likely to come from an unexpected source. So it might not necessarily be an official one. I'm not a doctor, I can't give you medical advice, but um, it looks like, the, maybe you, you say something or you're talking to somebody about symptoms, and this week they go, oh yeah, you know, my, my so-and-so had that, and it turned out to be dot, dot, dot. All right, so pay attention this week. And then finally, for your home and environment, well, look, you know, for, like I said, for those of you that are hoping to buy a home, for those of you that are hoping to beautify, you know, do construction work on the home or whatever, the help that you need is available to you, which is phenomenal. Um, it also suggests as well that this week, maybe you're putting someone up. It might be that a friend or a family member needs a place to stay. Doesn't look like for any, you know, major or scary or freaky reason, um, but it just, and not only that, it might be really fun. You know, you might just end up having an absolute blast. For your love and relations, you have the four of pentacles. So you've got two fours here. Two fours can uh, very often represent insomnia. If you and your partner are having trouble to, trouble sleeping this week, it would be a good time to look at um, what you have in your bedroom. Um, I know, so interestingly enough, I know this because years ago, um, I was having this problem. I had a mirror at the foot of my bed and uh, I was speaking to a lady who was actually really wonderful and she's a pagan and she said to me, you need to cover the mirror because that's how you're getting out at night. It's creating too much restless energy because you're off doing other things. And I was like, yeah, okay, makes sense. I just moved the mirror. Um, and I recently had this confirmed to me by a friend as well who uh, mentioned the similar sort of thing. So if you have a mirror or even anything technological at the foot of your bed, get rid of it. Um, you know, don't throw it out the window, but you know, get, get rid. For those of you that are single, uh, also for those of you that are partnered or in relationships, this is good news about the home. Very good news about the home actually, uh, especially if you're looking to move or to renovate. For those of you that are single, um, I like this. It suggests to me that this month you are all about your fi uh, month, this week you are all about your finances and your money, but more importantly, it kind of suggests that through the process of an application for finance or funding of some sort, you could meet somebody. Maybe meeting somebody through the bank, maybe through an online forum that talks about money. Uh, all of those kinds of places could hold somebody 
somebody for you, so keep your eyes peeled. Your Human Design Oracle card for the new moon energy in Taurus is the Gate 30 and Holding. And I see this card as always like when you've got your, when you have that idea of exactly what it is that you wanna do or what it is that you're ready to create or move ahead with, latch onto it with everything that you absolutely can. This is a time to envision it, to download it and go. As soon as you see it, as soon as you feel it, as soon as maybe this is that you see somewhere and you think, wow, you know what, wouldn't it be nice to move there? And then you check all the credentials and you've got everything that you need to go. Put foot to bat, right? This is the time to get going. Um, really, really interesting. I'll be intrigued to see how this comes up for you guys. Let me know in the comments. Take care, have an amazing week and I'll see you soon.